Hello everybody, this is Craig with CH and Ty Audits here. In today's video, I am just releasing the full interview. I believe there's a split in the center, which was just an accident, but, or no, it was because my phone was running out of data. So this is the full interview between me and Detective Fisher of the state police. Uh, he's a investigator and he's investigating our case with Greene County. So, uh, I just wanted to release this footage to give you guys full transparency on that case. I hope you enjoy. Hello. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, has Detective Fisher contacted you guys? Uh, I just walked in, man. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. An A meeting, which I guess you would call it. All hey, right. So how you guys doing? Good. And you? I'm Troy Fisher. I'm with the state police. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Tyler. Tyler. Yeah. All right. So here's what's going on. Uh, I'm going to interview you guys. I, I assume you guys have requested a, a investigation be launched. Into yes. This. Okay. Yes. So I'm going to interview you guys. Uh, we can do it one of way, one or two ways. I can knock you out individually. I can knock you out at the same time. It's whatever you guys want to do. I prefer to do it individually. That way, I, I get your story and get his story, and there's no oh yeah I just remembered it that way or yes I remembered it the other way. Okay. So, well, yeah, I've got no problem doing it individually. Really, okay. I mean, there's a video. You know what I mean? There's yep. no twist in the facts. No videos on cut. So we both know exactly what happened. So I mean, Tyler, but do you feel comfortable doing it individually? Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, that sounds good then. So, all right, so I'll take you back room. one at a time. Yep, they just set me up here for the room and stuff, so I'll, right. we'll go back there. We'll knock it out. That sounds awesome. awesome. I'll go first then. Okay, sounds good. Go on back there. All righty. All right. Got the whole set. I'm going to record it here. What? Yeah, I'm gonna let you know I'm recording this thing. Okay. We have yes, it. and I am also recording. So. Okay. Just uh, what I'm gonna some. probably do too. Uh, do you care if I take my mask down so we can talk? No, okay. Yeah. No, okay. that is not an issue with All me. Right. So what I'm probably gonna do too is I'm gonna digitally record it. Yes. Sometimes these doggone things screw up, and then I lose it. So I'm gonna just digitally. Yeah, record it's much it. easier when you've got it all for your own documents. You know. Yeah. Gotta wait a couple weeks or whatever it is for them to release the, <laughs> the footage. Mm -hmm. You take your coat off and get comfortable. Yeah. Well, it's nice outside, I'll tell you what. Yeah, I think weather's coming though. Oh, That's it why is. I wanted to really knock this out because we're going to be catching some more weather just like we did. Uh, that Friday you and I tried to get together? Yeah, yeah, I, I know it was a lot worse or worse the farther you got down or out east. I know. Yeah, it was really. I'm my supposed dad to be going it. to Oklahoma uh, next week, so hopefully it's all cleared out by then. Yeah, so, hopefully. Yeah. You got a conference down there? No, uh, I'm going to go do some hog hunting, is what I'm going to do. So. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Have you ever done that before? No, uh uh. Yeah, no it's pretty cool. It it's, uh, they got. I mean, this this started years ago. Uh, I, I don't know if you've heard about wild hogs. They get out of control and stuff in Texas, and they just they're migrating north in Oklahoma and no stuff way. like that. They tear up the land. They do everything. I go down there every other year. I got some uh, somebody I know has got some property down there, okay. like twenty six hundred acres, and we go down there and we just hunt it up, man. That and sounds awesome, really. We kill we kill as many as we can. Man. There's no guys, limit on it. So you guys we, keep the meat and everything. Yeah, yeah. I think we don't mess with the boars much. The boars are, uh, I don't know, they they sort of got a twang to them and stuff. Okay. But the, a, a decent sized sow and a, and the, the piglets that we even shoot. So yeah, they shoot everything we can. They're a nuisance animal in Oklahoma. They just tear up the ground and. Just tear up all the property down there. So well, well that's the that owners like are like fun, get too. rid of all, all, uh, all of them if you can. Yeah. So. All right. Absolutely. So, looks like I did find your YouTube. By the way, your YouTube video, the way you told me to get to it, I couldn't find it that no. way. 
No. Okay. The well, information you gave me wasn't right. I eventually found it, though. It took okay. me some hunting, but I eventually found it. Yeah. No, I do remember that. I remember looking at the this title of it and thinking, dang, I told him green co. It's, actually, it is spelled out green county. Yes. And, I was and I'll like, tell you what, yeah. and those things are specific like crazy, too. I know. There's if you don't things. have just the right thing wrote down, yeah, they uh, they act up on you. So. Definitely. All right, I think I got your information here. Uh, I hope this is the right. Are you Craig Hendry, right? Yes. Does this information look correct on you? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Got eight points. Didn't know that. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, yeah, it's awesome. Um, <laughs> DE permit. What is that? Okay, that's. that's you got a driver's license. Yeah. 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 Okay. Your yeah, data, I'm right. more concerned about your date of birth. Yeah, date of birth is correct. All that looks correct. Everything looks right up yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. Name, spelling, and everything? Yeah, name okay. spelled correctly. Yep. Okay, so if I remember right, what was the date that that actually took place, the, uh, the incident? The date? Um, well, I got it. I got it like 12 days after, um, after you got you guys were in there. It was the, okay, so it was right before, now I don't know the specific day, but it was, I believe, the Friday, right before Martin Luther King Day. Okay. So the Friday previous. The previous Friday before Martin Luther King? Yes, because I tried to call, uh, this, you know, the state police in Bloomington, and I remember they hung up on me, and I thought to myself, yeah, and I was surprised as well. But I thought to myself, dang, I won't be able to get through to these guys until basically Tuesday now, probably. So I definitely remember that. So my thing tells me um, that you guys have got a report for a battery. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm investigating the battery report. And I didn't know what it what it should be filed as. I just thought assault, but battery sounds right okay. to me. Yeah, the, the two terms are pretty similar, assault and battery. Um, I think what you're wanting, the charge that you're, you're searching for is the battery charge okay. because um, the battery charge is more of a... Um, a touching or anything like that. And, yeah. And he touched, did he touch you? Oh, uh, yeah. Yes, okay. Absolutely. So why don't you tell me a little bit about that day and what happened that day? Okay. So I went in to uh, the Green County Sheriff's Department, me and Tyler. We uh, and I'm just going to be taking some notes. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and just put this on digital too. Okay. All right. So we walked in to the Green you County and, Sheriff's and Department, me and Tyler. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, we were both recording the the footage that you saw in the video was my footage from my phone. Um, so we just walked in. We started doing our audit about thirty seconds after entering the building. The lady at the desk says, "You need to leave and go get a mask." And I asked her, "Is that a law?" To which she said. Here, yes, it is, implying, you know, Green County, yeah, here it's a law. So I knew that that wasn't, so I asked, can you show me the law? I would be happy to comply with it, you know, if it's a law. She said um, something along, she, I think she repeated herself, said, you need to leave, you know, go get a mask probably. I said, uh, are you going to trespass me? Because if they trespass me, you know, I'd have to leave, although I know you can't really be trespassed from a public, you know, area, a publicly accessible area. So she just kind of like smirked, laughed, and walked away. And they said it's posted on the door. I informed them that the sign on the door does not make it a law, that, you know, one must follow that directive now. I informed them about the situation that goes on around Texas that, Citizens are allowed to carry firearms into publicly accessible areas, but all over the place they posted on the door, no firearms, no weapons. So just because it's posted on the door doesn't necessarily mean that's a law, you know, that there'd be an IC code beneath it. So I basically just stood my ground and said, you know, there's no law, I'm not going to leave, 
The guy came out. It was about, I'd say, two minutes after that. Uh, and um, that is Major Dallaire. And I can spell that for you if you like. Yeah, I think I got that guy's name. Okay. okay. And he had two other police officers with him that were accessory to the crime. I don't know their names. They refused to give me their name and badge numbers. I'm sure that's a violation of their policy. Um, so, anyways, the three men came out. Um, and the one said, you need to leave. I asked, is that a lawful order? He said, yes, it is. You need to go take care of that right now. And I said, what's the law that backs up that order to make it lawful? He really just said, oh, I said, will you show me the law? He said, I'll show you the door and proceeded to grab me by my shoulder and, you know, kind of try to move me. I backed away from him, said, don't touch me, dude. I do not want you touching me. You know, why are you touching me? Are you trying to intimidate me here? He just said, uh, you need to leave, you know, something along those lines. I don't remember the specific conversation, the words that were said, but, um, yeah, so then, uh, the other cop said it's posted here on the door. I moved in the direction of the door on my own free will. And then when I got to around three yards distance to the door, Major Dallaire grabbed me again by the shoulder and uh, he just started to move me out of the building. The one cop that was to the right of the door, from my perspective, opened the door for him. The cop that was to the left of the door, from my perspective, said, you're going to get thrown. You, you could be thrown in jail or you're going to get arrested. Like one of the two. It was like a, a thinly veiled threat. He said, you're going to get arrested or you could be arrested for trespass. I informed him, you can't arrest me for trespassing in a public area. To which he just kind of didn't say anything. Major Dallaire said, uh, I don't even think he said anything more. I think he just kind of threw me out of the building. If he did say something, it was inconsequential. I informed him. I said, I told you it's not a law. Your lawful immunity or your, um, what is it, your immunity, you know, whatever that is, your qualified immunity is gone. You know, you've just done something. I informed you that you've got no legal backing. And I didn't say all of this, but. I said, you know, your qualified immunity is gone. I told you that's not a law. He just said, you know, nothing, I think. He, and then my buddy, he was walking out of the door right behind me on his own free will. Dale Air finds it necessary to put his hand on my buddy's back and push him out the door. So then um, we, uh, we just continued on with our audit. We said, you know, that's, you know, they're going to push us out of the building. We'll get what's outside of the building then. We'll document that. So we started to go around. I noticed an officer didn't catch his name or badge number. I didn't really see a reason to. I noticed an officer was parking his vehicle in the parking lot. So I kind of recorded that. And then when he uh, parked, the officer who threatened that said I can be arrested or you're going to get arrested one of the two I don't remember what it was but he said something about me getting arrested if the video was up if I had it up I could tell you but I don't so he went over and told the cop in the car what had happened mm -hmm. and I didn't hear what I didn't hear the whole audio or the whole dialogue him saying hey this is what happened but I heard him say just so you know so I figured that he was informing him of what had happened and then saying, just so you know. This what's is Del Air telling him that. No, this is a, uh, a shorter cop in a white shirt, like a, a white shirt, kind of similar to the style that you've got on. Okay. And um, yeah, he, he walked over and told him that. So this was the cop to the left of the door from my camera's perspective when I was walking out of the building or when I was being pushed out of the building. Mm hmm and um, pull this video up. okay go ahead and so basically uh i when the officer that had just parked his vehicle stepped out of the vehicle i said hey officer officer they just threw me out he was kind of really didn't really want to talk to me when i was saying officer he just kind of ignored me till i got up close to him mm -hmm. i said officer they've just thrown me out and he said well you've got to have a mask on so that's why i think that he did get told about the situation from mm -hmm. the cop in the white shirt. So I proceeded to say, 
well, that's your policy. It's not a law. You guys, you know, I don't have to follow that policy. That's a, you know, I have to follow the law is what I have to do. He just said nothing. Um, I said, I need to get those officers' names and badge numbers, please, because I was locked out of the building at this point in time. They had locked the door to the building, which was not formerly locked. They locked it after that whole situation had happened. The, 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 or, yeah, the sheriff's deputy is what he is. He just said, you're going to have to talk to them. So upon that directive, me and Tyler said, okay, well, we've not been trespassed from the property, so we're going to go back in. Mm -hmm. So we tried to go back in. The, uh, there, they had a correctional officer working the, the button. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. It's an audio button, you know, where you I do. I, I've actually been to the Green County Sheriff's Department, okay. so I understand that. Yeah, so. I think I'm, I'm going to draw you a picture here. And I'm, I'm thinking I understand it right. Yeah. So this is, I uh, no, I didn't, wasn't uh, like an expert <laughs> in art class. I got right? you. But you come in the main doors from outside there. Yep. And there's an area in here, and then it seems like there's another door that you go in, and then that opens up into a big lobby area. Is that yes. right? Yes. Yep. And then these receptionist things are right, right in there. there, and there's a door that comes goes that way too, I think. Yes. Okay. Yep. So the initial incident is taking place where? The initial contact happened right around here. Okay. That was the initial contact with the officers. Now, when he, he tried to put his hands on me right here. Mm-hmm. I backed away. I kind of, you know, yeah, told him, don't touch me. I said, don't touch me, dude. Mm -hmm. So then I did walk to around here when he grabbed me again, mm -hmm. and he proceeded to push me by the shoulder out the door. I got a pretty good clip of his arm or it's his hand on my shoulder in the video, and he's pushing me out. I said, so you're, you're forcefully removing me. Okay, this is assault. That's what this is. He just assured me. You know, it's like if I'm sitting there punching somebody in the face saying I'm not assaulting you. He assured me as he was grabbing my shoulder, I'm not assaulting you. I felt it was assault. This was unconsensual physical uh, contact. I did not want that to happen. He forced it upon me. So then he pushed me out the door. I entered back in for the second time to get their names and badge numbers. Mm -hmm. Was stopped at this door here. Talked this to is the, a locked door here? Yes, they locked that door, but it wasn't locked before. So they've locked it after I've left or been pushed out the first time. I talk, I press the button that's right over here on this wall. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just making that. Yeah, sense. correctional officer Hyden is her, is her name, answered the thing. That I guess they know that I know her. I liked her a whole lot. That's kind of a person that I think is a really nice person. And that's pretty evident in the video as well. I actually didn't put a subtitle. Like, I know this correctional officer. She's a great person. So she informs me that she's, you know, just been directed not to open the door, basically. You know, I said, I know you're just following orders. She said, that is correct. Mm -hmm. So I just said, I need their name and badge number. She said, they're not going to give it to you, buddy. So I don't know if they are sitting there over her shoulder saying, we're not giving it to them or what the situation was. Mm-hmm. She said, go get a mask. So I went to my car. I fished out. My car is absolutely horrendously dirty. I haven't gotten a chance to clean it because it's winter time, and I'm just too scared of the cold. So it's terribly dirty. I went and fished through my car for a mask, found the mask. Me and Tyler both put on some blue cloth masks and uh, told Hyden, hey, I've got my mask now. She opened the door up, so I went over to the lobby right here or to the window right here. And I said, hi, I need to get those guys' names and badge numbers. Now, I see Major Dallaire in this hallway here. He poked his head around the corner. And I said to him, hey, you, I need your name and badge number. I'm sure it's your policy to give it. I kind of raised my voice so he could hear me. I was, you know, I maintained a calm demeanor. And he said nothing. He just turned to the corner and walked away. And Hyden just said, they're not giving it to you, buddy. So... I just wish her well after about a minute of telling her what happened. You know, these three thugs came out and tried to basically, you know, throw me out of a public area. She didn't really have a reaction. So I just said, hey, have a good day. You know, I hope I never see you in here again. Um, we left, and that was pretty much the end of that. That was basically the whole interaction that I've just described to you just there.
Yeah. And I have looked at the YouTube video. I'm trying to get some internet here so I can. You know, I've got internet. internet. I can, I can. Well, actually, I don't know how their reception is through these walls. But I, I'm the same way. I'm trying to figure it out myself. And it's. I've got the data. I'm I just. struggling to get the. And it should be available to me pretty fast because it's on my upload. So, oh, no, this internet is pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah, my thing would have already loaded. But, uh, okay, here we go. And I believe Tyler uh, said he's got some original footage of the incident, like unedited. He doesn't do any editing of anything. So. Yeah, and I think that was going to be what I was going to do next, go through the YouTube video with you. Right. Because so here we go. I think yours is an edited event. Yes, mine is edited, quite edited. If I can get it on the big screen, it would work better. Let's see if okay. I can get it. I'm, I'm starting to get something here. All right. If not, I've got a hotspot that we can connect to. Well, that's what to. I'm working on. Okay. A hotspot here. I got gotcha. you. Let's see what to do here. Must have face masks in a public area. You can so we're see more in the side jacket here. Audit this place properly. You don't get the private citizen in. I told him don't get the private citizen in the in the footage. That's not what we do. And right before I came in, this lady that's talking right now mm -hmm. had her face mask not off completely, but the strap on one ear and it hanging down, dangling to about here. Mm -hmm. So she didn't. What? Have her. She didn't have a mask on before the cameras came in. I just took it down because I was having kind of trouble. Right. Saying it's I had it's not a. Is that a law or is that a? Yeah. It is. It's it a is law here. here. <laughs> No, it's not actually. It's not a law. I know it isn't. Could you show me the law and I'd be happy to comply? It's not a law. It, and I, that. I know, but you it's said I need to, so if it's not a law, I don't need to. It's a law. I've been in here without a mask on. It's just when I bring the cameras in. Let me ask you about that. So, I how know. many times have you been to this facility, though? I have been there two times as a uh, prisoner. So I've well three times. I've been in the jail as a you know in the detention center. An inmate. Right, an inmate. That's what I mean. Right. So. Okay. And then three times, not as an inmate. Okay. Three times counting. This time, counting this time, you said you came a time after that. Yes, and then you said there so was a time to come before that where you did this a similar thing here where you yes. went in. Yes, the first time, audit. the first time we had to go buy face masks because we thought that this was a law. I said in the video, I don't think I have that footage right now or anymore actually, but I said I don't know the laws on face masks, so I'm just gonna go get one real quick so I don't I'm not in a non-compliant situation. So. Then the second time, I said, you know, we're back. I've found out that it's not a law. So these guys are basically just trying to tell people what to do for no reason. So we entered in without a mask. And then the third time, which was last Thursday, it was the day that we talked on the phone. Mm -hmm. We went back in there for a third time. So I've been in there three times now. At not, you know, in, on a consensual basis. The time that I had been in there without a mask that they're talking about was as an inmate. I had been released and I was waiting on my ride to come pick me up. Mm -hmm. I sat in the lobby for about 20 minutes without a mask on. 
didn't have a single thing said to me besides somebody came over the intercom and said, what, it was hiding, she said, what are you doing, buddy? And I said, I'm just waiting on my ride. And she said, okay. No match required to that time. It's only when I bring in the cameras that they get all mad, they COVID scared, you know, they get all scared of COVID all of a sudden. So that was the point I was making to her there, was that the only time it seems to be an issue is when, you know. The cameras are on. Right. Okay. So all together we've been in the Green County, not we, but you. Yeah. And Tyler too? Tyler was not, or he's not been arrested ever. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he was, was there you all three, yeah, three times. Yep. Okay. So he's there with you all three. Yep. Um, and is he filming also? Yes. Okay. Good. Maybe we can get that footage in too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure we've got the, what we call Google Drive, and we always upload it to that. So if you want to get that, we can share it to you through. Right. Are you going to drive past me? They post a lot of stuff. I don't mean to come in. I'm not trying to record you right here. Then a lot of places, like in Texas, they always put on the door, no firearms, no weapons, but you're allowed to bring a weapon into any public place. They just assert some sort of authority that they don't have, and the law is the only thing that would give them the authority to, to do that. So unless there's a law, is the sheriff going to come talk to me or something? I, mean, I don't no, we're not processing. We're just documenting. We're with the press. I don't know. Oh, okay. Right. I don't know what the deal is here. I know. The Bloomington requires them everywhere. Right. Right. So the building. 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 I don't care if you videotape. So is that, a, is that a lawful order? It is a lawful order. So take care of it right now. Go Can you show me the law? I'll show you the law. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me, dude. You don't have a right not to touch me. You're assaulting me. Sure, no, you are. Don't touch me. Hey, Tyler's footage is much better when it comes to seeing him touch me. Because I was just going to say, we didn't get to see anything there. So that initial touch, tell me about that initial touch. So he grabbed me pretty when forcefully. You say, when you say grab, uh, one hand, two hands. One hand, this shoulder, he grabs me like this. I lift my arm up and say, don't touch me. I move away from him. And um, he continues to move towards me. So that's when I say, are you trying to intimidate me here? And he doesn't touch me at that point, I think. Not that I can recall because it wasn't very aggressive if he did. So I move towards the door at this point right now mm -hmm. in, in the video. And then it's not until we're closer to the door that he starts grabbing me because we have a little dialogue. Then he grabs me again very aggressively this time and starts moving me. You actually see his body is kind of... And when he's pushing us out the door, his body is actually turned in, in such a way that he's trying to leverage his weight to push us. Okay. So it's, and this is only one guy, just this major. Just this major that's laying hands on us right or Yeah, that's laying hands on me right now. He doesn't touch Tyler until Tyler gets to the door. Okay. And then he finds it necessary. So the initial him. grab, which we drew up, is going to be more in this area. Yes. Here. Yep. Um, he puts his hand on one hand on your shoulder. Yes. Is that correct? Yep. And then... You looks like you pretty much immediately, yeah, back off, back off, or turn, maybe like you said, yeah, uh, back off, and then you start walking towards the door. Is that where we're at yeah. right here? Yes, right here. That's you where coming we're out here at. intimidating me or something, sir. There is a sign here on the door. You can I see it says sign. that, so I start moving towards the door. We got a hundred plus inmates in this building. Yeah, you don't come in here and try to violate that. You don't, I'm not violating. You're the one violating my rights. I have a right to be in here. All right, so are you trespassing me officially? Is that... You can't see the subtitle. I just say the cop in the white shirt senses he can threaten me, so he knows the only thing he knows how he lies. I don't have a mask, and I don't have the money to have it, to get a mask. Then you can't be here. So I can't come into a public building without it. Come out here, we'll discuss it all day long. You're intimidating me. You're trying to intimidate me. No, don't touch me, dude. Get away from me. You're gonna end up going to jail. Okay, so you're insulting me now. He's pushing me. Over. He got his hand on my thing. Yeah, this is going to court. All right, you guys are gonna watch. You're grabbing me with the other hand as he opens the door and pushes us out. Not a law, and he just forcefully removed me. No, you're getting a lawsuit. Have fun with it, pal. 
So that's that's all the contact that we had with that guy or his, any of his colleagues, um, besides the cop that came and parked in the parking lot. And, um, yeah, but... Tyler's footage is much, much better, really. I, I wish I had included it in that YouTube video. It would have been a lot better if I had, but uh, it takes a while for us to get it, so let's see if it's not. So you're on the second encounter, just so I want to make sure what I was seeing is correct. So on the second encounter, uh, you're more closer to this door here. Yes. And... He puts his hand on your shoulder again? Yes. Okay? Yeah. And you're walking out the door as he's keeping his hand on your shoulder? No, he pushes me from here all the way out to the door. I mean, that's that's what happened. I was kind of I was kind of just moving my legs as he was pushing me, you know, but I was not okay. consensually moving my body towards that door. He moved me. He even said the language he used was, you know, I'm not going to show you the law. Well, he didn't say that. That was the implication. I said, will you show me the law? He said, I'll show you the door. And that was what he was doing, was essentially showing me the door. And you say he takes his hand off, opens up the door. Is that right? He took one hand off. And he moved his other hand on, <laughs> you know, and that's what I just remember thinking this guy is touching me the whole time here. This is ridiculous. And then when we get to the second door here, he actually moves his body in a way to leverage his weight to push on me and force like forcefully push. And uh, Tyler's footage is much better when it comes to that. Mm hmm. Now, the only shame is, is that we didn't have a guy following Tyler so that you could see. But if you look in my video closely, you see his arm moves as Tyler uh, exits the building. I'll see if I can't replay that for you real quick. Because really, it sucks that you can't get, you know, you can't have a third person camera on yourself, unfortunately. Okay. So I'm going to stand up. Back here. Okay. I want you to show me. Uh, maybe the force that he used on you. Is that okay? Okay, yeah. Yeah, so we're at the initial contact. I want you to go ahead. Um, we're talking about like this. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so he's talking about like this. Show me the initial contact. So he got. goes, I'll show you the door, and I just immediately move my arm up and get him off of me okay. at that point. All right, and then we moved on to the door again. Show me the uh, the how that encounter went then. So that encounter, you're walking out the door. He says, I'm going to show you to the door. Now, I believe he grabs me like this and I'm walking and he pushes me backwards. Yeah. Okay. And then I think, because I'm not going to resist him at all because mm -hmm. I know what that leads to. So sure. then he opens the door and with his other hand. Do you turn one way then it looks like? I believe I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe I turn that one way. Okay. And then as he's open, and he's from this end, so he pushes okay. me like this. Okay. And he says, you know, and that's that's it. You didn't really say anything else. And that's my okay. Footage so I think I think the camera shines more in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have you show it to me on, okay. on our camera here. Is okay. that all right? Yeah. So here we are back on the initial contact. Uh, we're sitting here like this. He says he says I'll show you the door. Yeah. And he grabs me like that. And then you just you do this. You yes. back away. Back away. And then you start going to the door. Yes. Uh, to the to the other doors. Yes. The one that was secured at one time, but wasn't secured at right, another time. Right, exactly. Okay. And then... Um, at this door. At this door, you're walking face-to-face -to -face with him. Yes. And he puts his hand on your shoulder. Well, so yeah, he grabs me, and he goes like this. He starts moving me back. Mm -hmm. And then I do, I turn around at some point. So do I turn around? Yes. He okay. opens the door, um, or he keeps it open. I guess he would keep it open with his hand, and he goes like that. And he, okay. you know... Pushes and sure. really puts his body into it as well. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty clear from Tyler's video as well. So, okay. Yeah. All right. I well, appreciate that. Yep. I was getting you know, a video doesn't really give you the sense of sometimes I'll of what you're looking at. Oh, sorry. No, you're good. Uh, we're done with that video, right? Um, as far as the actual physical contact okay. part, yes. And that's really what I'm investigating is the physical contact. Yes. I know. Uh, we've been talking just a little bit, and I know I can tell there's some uh, 
uh, some general uh, dislike for the mask mandates and, and, and so forth. Yeah. And I get that. And, but that's not what I'm investigating. Okay? Right. And I wish I could help you on that. That, uh, that, yeah. that I mean, pond's as muddy as can be, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, and it is what it is on the, on the mandate. I'm not here looking at your civil liability. I'm here right. investigating whether there was a bad order. Right. Well, the prosecutor already tried to contact my lawyer about my, and if, you know, if there's any liability, but sure. I, we both know, that, or me and the lawyer both talked, and the prosecutor knows there's no liability for not wearing a mask in a public mm-hmm. place. So I'm not even in the slightest bit concerned about it. Okay. I'm actually going to go talk to the prosecutor on camera as well and ask Good. him yeah. what is, you know, the deal with you telling the sheriff. Because in the last video, he the sheriff makes a claim. He says, I talked to the prosecutor, and he says, I've got the right to kick you out for anything. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to go to the prosecutor and ask, why is why are you a lawyer making these false claims? Where is the statute or the case law that backs that up? Because I know there's case law in the opposite direction, that as long as I'm not breaking a law, I can be in any public area as long as I'd like to be. Yeah, I think the real gray area for you is going to be, and I just from, from what I obtained just from our short interview here, and again, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not right, a judge, yeah. I'm not anything like that, but I'm looking at the gray area in this, and to me, the gray area is right here, yeah. this door, because one time it's secured, yeah. and one time it's not secured, so to me... Is it a public access area? Yes. Is it not a public access area? Yeah. I'm telling you, man, that's where you're great. That is the gray area, but the, the most important thing is is that I've walked in that area when it's not been locked plenty of times before, like the time when I got out of jail. Nobody was even in these windows. The facility was technically closed on Google, like their hours, their office hours were passed. Mm-hmm. The door was unlocked. Every other time I've walked up to that building, the doors have been unlocked. It's only that time when I've been forcefully removed that they decide, hey, lock that door. So mm-hmm. it leads me to believe that that's a publicly accessible area. And then, yeah, and again, it's a gray right, area. Right, it is a gray area. <laughs> that's, You're right. Good that's, luck with you and your lawyer right. on that yeah, one. So. Thank you. Um, but uh, that's that's definitely your gray area. Yeah, that is the... And again, that, I'm not a legal advice, legal advisor. I'm just, as a conscientious observer that's what i'm seeing yeah and that's what i asked hyden on the intercom the correctional officer i said Mm -hmm. this was publicly accessible right before i got kicked out so is this not publicly accessible anymore and she all she had to say was there's you got to wear a mask yeah that was all she had to say so you know i mean this very well could be case law for the state of indiana when we get done with this case yeah as far as uh, mask laws and yeah. things like that. Who That's knows? what my lawyer said. He said nobody's ever challenged this, to my knowledge. Sure. So this could be the first case of its kind. Which, if I do have to be the trailblazer here, I'm very confident that my my position uh, will hold up. I mean, unless there is a misdemeanor or a felony crime for, or you know, you're liable for a misdemeanor or a felony. It's not, you know, it's not a crime. So sure, you know, and and the case law has already been been there for you know because guys go into public areas all the time i mean i'm quiet i don't talk to anybody unless they talk to me first Mm -hmm. or if i do i say how's it going Mm -hmm. there are some people that will go in there and just cause an absolute riot you know like hey i didn't talk to you don't talk to me i'm very polite Uh, there's case law saying that even those people can be in that public area as long as they're not committing a crime so i know that the historical case law is in my favor here but yeah I, you know and and I, i'm sure you'll hear about it when it does happen sure because it'll be precedent well unfortunately i'm probably going to be part of it now yeah <laughs> well it's yeah you'll definitely hear about it then so okay so let's talk about so this is encounter number two this is the second time you went to the green yeah again the first one was nothing so yes. tell me about uh thursday last thursday then what happens well all that really happened there was the the sheriff and Major Dallaire came out, and uh, they just basically repeated themselves. Although they did not show the same use of force, I stood my ground the same way. Uh, and the sheriff walked away, and Major Dallaire retreated to, see right over here, there's a room for visitation. Mm-hmm. He retreated to the doorway of that room, stood and watched me. After the encounter with the sheriff, I mean, it's a small lobby. I was there recording for another two minutes after the encounter at the most. And uh, 
I asked the major, am I free to leave? He said, a long time ago, buddy. And so I walked away. And it was very peaceful. There was there was an alter, uh, verbal altercation, but that was as far as it went. The sheriff walked away through this door. And again, the verbal altercation was over what? The mask again? Yeah. Yeah, over the mask and over whether he was a legislator or, you know, I just, you know, we kind of... Do you have video of that? That is on YouTube as well. So we can bring that up. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. I'll just, uh, I'll just show you the altercation. Not that it has anything to do with the battery, but it might right. help me understand this case okay, a little yeah. bit better. So, what was the reasoning for going back Thursday, if you don't mind me asking? Just to document and make okay. sure that our public servants are ma are maintaining and are doing their jobs correct, which is just to protect our rights, not to violate them. So I guess it doesn't take very long for them to come out. All right, so I heard him say, you, ma'am, you need to have a mask on. Is what they charge here. It's 33 cents, I think. I'm, I've never been to this jail, but I hear it's a lot better here, so <laughs> he just said we're not discussing that right now. I was going to say, if you charge $99, why would you pay it? <laughs> I take the bloated sandwich. Absolutely. <laughs> Sorry if that seems, but Tyler, I don't think he should take too long. He'll just basically reinforce everything I've said. You know, it's all factual. He'll, 
I'd, I'd like to get those videos to you on the drive. Yeah, that was going to be my question before we get out of so, here. It doesn't look like there's any battery on this. No, nothing physical. Can I get this also, though? This is on YouTube, and this is the only editing that's gone on with this video at all is the words being added to it. And I believe at one point maybe I pause it, I freeze it, and I do a voiceover where I talk. But I'm not sure about that. That could have been the... Can you get the title of this one? What is it? It is Sheriff Hassler. And I meant Hassler. what I said. Right. If he had apologized, I would have told the state police to forget about the investigation. And we're not going to apologize for something we have the right to do. Okay. Like, but right. he doesn't want to apologize, so unfortunately I do want to go forward with the charges and everything. But this is Sheriff Hassler hassles citizens, period, mask refusal. Sorry. I'll get it Sorry, got him. Could you make it a little bit longer, title? <laughs> Right, they're all they gotta be long because well, I just like the his, his name is Hassler and he wants to come hassle and leave. Was there a movie about a, a some cop that was a that was a Hassler? Or I don't know really. <laughs> Maybe it was this guy, you know, who knows? He's just a little bit older nowadays, but um, okay, I got it. Yep, I got the longest title in the world, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. But yeah, so so what are you? So you went in there and you, you told him that uh, you would drop the investigation if they apologized to you? Is yeah. Right? Yeah, all I want is a, okay, yeah, you know, I, I didn't know that that was wrong at the time, but now that I know that it's wrong, I'm sorry, you know, but they obviously still believe that they were completely empowered. He even says we're not apologizing for something that we have the right to do, so they believe that they have the right to assault citizens whenever they feel like it, I guess. I don't know. But what is your definition of assault? Just my so. definition of assault is similar to the lawful definition of assault, which would be any unwanted physical contact. Okay. So, but he did, you know, forcefully push me. There was, mm -hmm. there, there was. I guess like that's that, my so. question too. Is I've got to determine what this really is if there's something here. Right. So uh, I'd say that this was an unnecessary use of force as much as it was assault as well. So that both of those things is what I'm complaining about here. Um, so to me, to me, this is more of a battery. Okay. I'm looking at the thing. Battery refers to the act of physically harming someone uh, or forcibly uh, let me see if I can look up what battery is. Uh, Kumal is physical act that results in harmful or offensive contact with another person without that person's consent is battery. To me, that meets what you're what you're talking about, uh, which is the uh, the offensive contact. I guess is that. Is that what you're looking into? Is the offensive contact yes. with another person? Yeah, I wouldn't without say that he, person's consent. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, he didn't leave bruises. I, on I, I was gonna say I don't think it meets anything to do with harmful. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not, yeah. No, I I'd agree. I yeah. Mean, he didn't just, harm you. Right. It was, he just forcibly put his hands, according to you, uh, uh, what you would call an offensive contact. Yes, that that was extremely okay. offensive contact in my uh, okay eyes. Okay, so here's the thing too. I'm looking at the, I'm trying to read, I'm sorry, I'm reading up on this because I want to make sure we don't handle a lot of these cases. So yeah. I want to make sure I'm reading it too, right? Yeah, I don't think this means assault. I think it means battery. Okay. You keep saying assault, but right. I think yeah, it's more, well. I think what we're looking into here is more the battery. Yes. That, and so okay. the best part about my job is all I have to do is record facts. That's yep. all I have to do. The the fact that I have the video and stuff, it doesn't get any more factual than that. Right. I, I get to see that. Uh, I did want you to put your hands on me just so I could get an idea and gauge what kind of contact you ha he had with you. Okay. Um, the the evidence that you're presenting, I don't think is going to be an assault thing. I think okay. it's going to be. Uh, something else, right? Uh, and I am iffy on the the definitions of the yeah. of what we would. And again, do that, I, so. I'm not a lawyer. 
Right. Yeah. Well, my job. I work for the people of the state of Indiana. And I my job. That. My job is to report facts. That's yes. what a detective has to do. Awesome. Figure things out and report facts. Yes, and detect Some, things. Sometimes over here, yeah. Sometimes over here, you get this guy's story, and sometimes over here, you get yep. this guy's story, and somewhere in the middle, sometimes it's made up. Yeah. Right. I get you. That's all I do. Man. Yep. I made up the stories. Yeah. Exactly. All right. right. So. I'm gonna I'm gonna call you if I have any questions. Okay. Uh, I've got your number. Yes. Um, I would like to for you somehow to to forward me those Google accounts. You said. No, yeah, and I need to. I'll text you and I'll ask you for. I don't. You could just make a Google account, and if you make a Google Drive account, I can share all those big files with you. But other than Google Drive, we don't really have a way to send it because all the other messaging apps okay they limit the length of the video so if okay. you want to get the full length well, i'm gonna put it on my work phone so i'm probably gonna to have to go talk to somebody tech support about okay it. i don't think i can add things like that okay. without their permission yeah. so they'll know exactly what i'm talking oh, about. oh I, yeah i mean i understand what you're talking about yeah. i just don't think i can add them without somebody's permission. i got gotcha. you so it may take me a little bit to get that done and okay. then i'll text you or call you and say hey man i think i'm up online this is my account and, and we'll just share it right over to you. It'll take like five minutes to upload. That'd be great. Yep. Okay. You got any more questions for me? Um, no, I do not. I think we covered everything. I mean, you've been. I appreciate you looking into this so thoroughly. Okay. Really. It's like I said, it's easy. Yeah. You know, all you got to do. All is, I got to do is report facts. Yeah. I don't have to make anything up. I just report facts. It doesn't get much easier than that, does That's it? it. <laughs> That's it, man. It's all awesome. Right. I'm re I'm gonna stop this. I am as here. well.